on the Thursday after Ash Wednesday and through the season of Lent, the church invites us through both the first reading and the gospel how we must proceed during this holy and blessed season. In the first reading of today, which is taken from the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 30, verses 15 to 20, Moses places before the people a choice. He tells them that they can either choose life or death. They can choose blessing or curse and he advises them to choose life and blessing and not death and curse. And the reason why they must choose life is so that they will live under the guidance of God, under the purview of God and under the reign of God. In the Gospel text of today, which is taken from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 9, verses 22 to 30, Jesus invites us like he invited anyone who listened to him in those days to follow him. The following of Jesus is done, Jesus says, in two ways. And the first way to follow him is to deny oneself. To deny oneself means to count the self as nothing, to put the I away and not in the center. If the I remains in the center, one cannot deny oneself. And so the plea of Jesus and so the invitation of Jesus is that an individual who wishes to be a disciple, an individual according to the first reading who chooses life and blessing, will be a person who chooses to deny self, to count the other at least as important as the self, if not more important than the self. And after one has denied oneself, only after one has denied oneself, one will take up the challenges of life symbolized by the metaphor of the cross. The cross refers to the challenges that each one of us faces and every one of us faces a variety of challenges in a given day. As a matter of fact, it is only the Gospel of Luke which adds these words to the cross daily and follow me. In other words, Jesus is not referring to the tribulation of the end time. He is not referring to the temptation of the end time. He is not referring to the judgment of the end time. He is referring to the present challenges of life. And so today on this Thursday after Ash Wednesday, each one of us is invited to hear the offer of Moses to choose life over death, to choose blessing over the curse, to listen to the words of the Lord of how we choose this life and how we choose this blessing. And very ironically, we choose life by giving up ourselves. We choose life by giving up our own lives. We choose life by giving up our ego. Then there is no cross. Then even if there is a cross, it is not burdensome, it is not heavy, it is light. And so today we are invited by the Lord to ask ourselves if we will dare to be a disciple by denying ourselves, taking up the challenges of life daily and following him.